Mr. Blair. Mr. Ambassador. No, 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 no. Please. For you, I'm Reuben. Oh, really? Reuben? Hi. <laughs> Coffee? Uh, for me? Thank you. No. Nah. It's a terrific honor to have you here, sir. Tony, please. Great. Tony, you've always been a good friend to the United States. Thank you. Yes, I, I believe that the bond between our two countries is... Exactly. And I want you to know that America will always be a friend to you. Thank you. I know that. But there are negative forces loose in this world, people who don't understand that we have to take some tough decisions if we're going to win the war on terror. Exactly my view. Exactly. A lot of nations want to see a tribunal on Iraq set up in The Hague. Now, naturally, we don't want that to happen. Uh, not that it concerns us directly. I mean, uh, America has never recognized the International Criminal Court, uh, although uh, your country did. <laughs> so uh, you fall under their jurisdiction, and uh, we don't. Yeah, well, you know, we all make mistakes, right? But with uh, Iraq and Afghanistan in flames and uh, international pressure building, uh, the president feels, uh, well, uh, she feels that we need to take a more peaceful approach, uh, less uh, belligerent. Sorry, I, I don't quite understand. It's not all that hard, Tony. The president needs to consider her prospects for re-election. Beating the war drum doesn't play to the electorate anymore. What's that for? We're going to have to say some unpleasant things about you in public. But I want you to know that we don't mean them. Hi. Sorry, I'm just a, a little confused. If you find us being negative about you at all, or your uh, contribution to the current situation in the world, I want you to know that uh, behind the scenes, we're working very, very hard to kill this tribunal idea stone dead. Right, okay. Well, thank you. That's, um, I'm very grateful. Well, it's been great seeing you. Goodbye, Mr. Blair. Yes. Welcome to Chequers, Prime Minister. We all hope you enjoy being here, sir. The previous Prime Minister found it extremely congenial. Mm. Did he now? It's like a pretentious hotel. It's decadent. Oh, I kind of like it. Who cares what you like, Tommy? I'm sorry. I'm still angry about all this. Good. You ought to be angry. I mean, this goes back a long way, Tommy. This is the man who made a deal with me and broke it. This is the man who has reaped the benefits of my handling of the economy. This is the man who thinks he's on a mission to save mankind when all he does is start wars. Yes, that's it. So, when our UN man arrives, we tell him no veto. Vote for the resolution next Tuesday. The tribunal gets set up. Blair gets extradited, Blair goes on trial, Blair gets put away. And we have a better world. It's an uneasy moral position, Tommy. Gordon, for God's sake. If you're gonna start doing morals, we're screwed. Why 
don't you leave this to me? Meaning? Meaning we never had this conversation. I don't need a lawyer. You will if next week's vote goes through the Security Council. Gordon won't abandon me. I know Gordon. Look, you need a good legal team. How about the people who defended Pinochet? I don't need them. What do you mean? Pinochet was responsible for thousands of people's deaths. Enjoying your new job? It's enjoyable in its way. Challenging. It's quite a big step up for you, wasn't it? I mean, not many people had even heard of you before we made you our ambassador to the UN, had they? Perhaps you should tell me what's on your mind. What would happen if Britain vetoed the setting up of the ICC tribunal on Iraq? Nothing very much, but a flack from the Arab countries, a lot of moaning from the usual suspects. And if we didn't veto it? We've got to veto it. If we don't, it'll look like your Prime Minister's deliberately dropping Mr. Blair in the shit. You wouldn't want that, would you? No, we wouldn't. It's, it's not an option. Really? Toilet. Apparently, I missed the vote. Well, what does this mean? It means The Hague now has a tribunal which will instigate prosecutions against any leader it considers guilty of launching an aggressive war in Iraq. Am I being stitched up? Sorry, can I have a word? Yes, thank you very much, I do. 